10 lenses is new uh, because it now provides us a language to capture what's been true for uh, as long as people have started to really talk openly about differences and the fact that we live in a, in a, in, in a multicultural, multiracial uh, society. Uh, and that is that people have different perspectives about what the ideal experience of those differences should be in communities and in organizations. Anything that's, that's, uh, that's creative and for science has to start out with a creative mind. And that was 17 years of Mark Williams uh, actually working with people and, and having them think about these. And then these things began to sort out in his mind, the, these patterns of behavior. That's qualitative research and it's essential because once you've done that, then you can check it out with numbers. So this instrument is much more on a par with the Myers-Briggs, for example, which is the leading instrument used in executive development in the world, uh, where it provides a way of thinking about how one processes a particular aspect of their uh, uh, of their lives, of their experience, and also allows you to contrast that with other possible perspectives or ways of, of, of working. So I think um, that's what the research has done with, with lenses. Yes, there are lenses. I mean, I think we can be pretty clear about that now, that they exist as patterns of behavior that we can rely on here. I think many of those patterns will be reliable wherever there are people. And I think that the lenses will start dialogue wherever, wherever they're used. You heard Don Clifton and Mark, uh, Don, uh, on the video you saw a moment ago, talk about the fact that Mark's concept of these tens lenses began as a qualitative uh, view and the professor from Harvard Business School the same way began his concepts and that's the way many great theories uh, have worked uh, throughout history at some point in the development of a theory of an approach of a scientific hypothesis you need to move to the next step which is quantification and making things objective and that's where we came in at Gallup now the interviewing uh, was done in our typical Gallup poll fashion. I won't get into great detail about how we did it, but the initial survey and the survey that we're talking about here uh, was conducted with a normal random probability sample of 18 plus American adults. It was a large sample. As Jim mentioned and Mark mentioned, we had uh, over 4,000 final uh, respondents in our sample. We believe this is probably one of the largest samples in America surveys historically based on the objective of trying to understand diversity and, and the types of things that we're measuring here. If you have research which shows what people are thinking and where they're coming from, uh, that speeds up that educational process because just learning that could take years. So if we already know that information at the front end, we can maybe jump start and start seeking solutions because we already have that information. establishes a very firm principle that not all individuals in a specific racial group or ethnic group or gender group or age group think and believe the same way, that there is a range of attitudes and beliefs. And I believe that goes a long way into building better decisions in the business environment. Those of us who are involved in trying to train managers and supervisors and human resource professionals and the legal aspects of managing diversity are always looking for tools to explain to people the sources of their behavior and the consequences of their behavior. The ten lenses are a very helpful tool. It builds a wall, it keeps us all so wary and confined. Even if people went to the point of taking the survey or the test, if you will, to see where they fit in, or in between which lenses they fit best. If we don't discuss that, if there's no dialogue around that, we're not going to gain a lot from that. I think that important piece comes out when we start to build understanding of one another. When I began to approach, in my own personal life, dealing with the issue of race, I was aware that I had a construct that I viewed the world in. I couldn't have labeled it like you all did, 
Uh, so I view what you've done as a great tool to help us understand and define and to see ourselves where if I just said, you view the world differently than I do, we can agree on that, but that doesn't help us learn to understand each other. And so what you've done is you've provided a tool for us to help understand. I thought that the lenses of diversity would be perfect for our judges to um, participate in because as judges we are supposed to be fair and it's difficult to talk about anything other than I'm a fair person because I believe I'm a fair person even though that perspective may not be shared by all that come before you.